Hi, you guys, it's Kia from Through His Strength and welcome back to the channel. So here on Through His Strength, we're all about prayer, faith, and encouragement. So if any of those things interest you, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. So, um, y'all, I have, I don't even have, oh my God. Okay, so I'm just going to pray first. So, dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for your love, your grace, your mercies. Your mercy. <laughs> your mercies that are new every morning. Every morning, God. And I worship you for that, oh God. God, I thank you for being God. I thank you for being Lord. I thank you for being Savior. I thank you for all that you have done for me. I thank you for this word that I'm about to release. And may it move the hearts of those people, your people, and those who are soon to be your people, Lord God. So I pray and I pray and I pray that this word will be a seed planted and that someone will come to water it if this isn't a watering word and that you will give this word the increase that it needs. Oh God, I bless you. I praise you. I lift your name on high. And it is in Jesus' name that I pray. Amen. So, okay. So I was about to get ready for work, you guys. And I feel like God dropped a prophetic warning on my spirit okay wasn't expecting it at all um but then i was like okay lord i'll record this a little later and the holy spirit's like why and i'm like ooh, because sometimes because you know sometimes daddy be like that but like holy spirit's like why and i'm like <clears throat> i ain't really had no reason because um uh, it's 6 49 and i don't have to be to work till 7 30 so i have plenty of time actually because i live pretty close to work so, anyways, the first scripture that came to mind that I believe the Father gave me or that I know, how about that, the Father gave me, is Matthew 10, 33. But, um, and it's not verbatim. Um, it's just how God said it to me, which made me stop and write it. And the Lord said to me, deny me in front of the world and I'll deny you in front of my Father in heaven. And this, God gave this, to, said this to me yesterday after a, uh, um, after meeting with somebody before school started. And I was like, yeah, God, like, I'd rather, I'd rather do what the world doesn't expect me to do than to deny you in front of the world. Because I'm not going to be denied in front of God. And I know I know you, Jesus. And I know I know you, Lord. Like, I'm not about to, that ain't going to be me. I'll go down before I deny you in front of the world. Okay, but also like I always remember Peter was like had the same energy. Okay, and Peter did deny Jesus three times before the rooster crow. So I always say, Lord, help me to not be like Peter in that moment. And if I'm ever like Peter, forgive me because it happened. It has happened to the best of us. And but it shouldn't be a regular thing that it happens. You get to a point in your walk with Christ where it's kind of like this is not supposed to be a regular thing anymore. But um. Here we go. So I'm going to read exactly what I wrote because this is exactly what I know the father was saying to me to speak. So I want to read what it says. Okay. Um, but people in your workplaces will soon. Uh, so this is geared towards people in your workplaces. And yes, and I will say, pray about anything I say, take it to the father, ask the Lord how he feels about it. Uh, or what he thinks of it, and if this is him or not, test the spirit. Test the spirit. It's okay. It's okay. Test the spirit. I'm gonna say it's okay. I, I don't mind. Test the spirit. But, um, okay, so people in your workplaces will soon have to make a decision deny me or stand for me. The decision is yours. No one can save you from the decision that you make. Choose the way of hope and find hope. Choose the way of life and find life. Choose the way of li lies and find death. I am the hope for this world. I am the way to life. Put your faith in me and you will be saved. Put your faith in the world and watch as your life perishes with it. Put your hope in me today. Put your hope in me now. For the Father in heaven knows you, hears you, and sees all of you. Those who are wicked will see the hand of God. Those who are righteous will not perish. 
Depart from me, evil doers. I never knew you. Speak to me, witches, and I'll ignore you. Least you repent and turn from your wicked ways, you will find death. And um, a good scripture to go back on to read too, um, for a lot of what I said, because uh, this is where the Holy Spirit had me yesterday before I even went to bed. And then I woke up with this in my spirit. So last night I read Lamentations 3, chapter 3, all of chapter 3. Um, so Lamentations 3, verse 1 through 66, I read it. Um, and I was like, okay, read it. It was good, went to sleep. And I woke up with that word of the Father on my spirit. So that's actually all I have to say. Um, I try to be mindful about ones where it's like, I feel like Holy Spirit sees me as a mouthpiece in a moment to not put too much of my own fling on it. So that's the word of the Lord. If you need to hear it again, please run the video back. Pray about it. Seek God about it. If you feel convicted, then you need to go to God about it. Repent. Repent. Um, if you feel convicted by it, by anything. And all of us should always stay in a position of like repent, like having a repenting heart. So, um, but yeah, that was it. I'm going to work, you guys. So I pray you have a blessed, beautiful day. I pray that Holy Spirit will speak to you today. I pray that you will read Lamentation chapter 3, verse 1 through 66. I pray that you will let it sit, marinate, and resonate with you. And I pray that this word is a word for today, tomorrow, and forevermore. So that is all, you folks. Peace and joy. Until next time.